my name is Tridar. Welcome to part three of the Roman Estate tutorial. Let's pick up right where we left off. So we are beginning another phase here, focusing on these two blocks as we go around the slice here. Now for the gateway, we are building up a few more blocks as you see done here for our triumphal Roman gateway. It's mostly cobblestone with some stone bricks and a bit of diorite. Also a bit of diorite here at the top that is going to start forming our archway fairly soon as well. We are pretty much finished with all of the gardens. The trees I think I have reasonably described in the previous phases, but once these are complete I will go around and touch on that one last time. I think at this phase also we can finish off the head of the lion statues here. And as I said, these lions all have dedicated tutorials, so if my uh, brief covering in this tutorial is, is insufficient, uh, make sure and go watch those separate videos. For the pavilions, however, we need to take a look here at the main doorway. Of course, the doorway is the same on both sides, as you see done here. However, at this level, we are extending up these lower sections here again but you are putting on a sort of a string course of stone here around the front pillars, as you see it done here, which is some cobblestone stairs upside down like so. And you want to do this on all of the courses of stones, as you see done here. Of course, you can see back here, the windows are continuing up with their pattern as well. And that should be the exterior, but now let's take a look at the interior here. We are putting in a bit of a diorite here with some blo full blocks of cobblestone on either side. And this, as I said, is going to be the lower part of our vaulted archway that we are going to have, which is going to be the ceiling of this room here. View of the, the back wall segment, as you can see, you're layering in two blocks of stone bricks, and then one band of cobblestone, then cobblestone again, then there will be two blocks of stone bricks as a band on top of that. So with that said, we need to go in here and take a look at the interior stairwell. And let's do this from the bottom. So we are building out the windows with the stained glass pattern that I described last time. You can see you're extending up the stairs here as well. And over here, you're also putting in a beam of uh, spruce tree trunks going this way, just four blocks there, to serve as some structural support for our stairs and also to make a little ceiling area over this section that we will be getting to as well. And I think if I just give you a good view of this here, from that side and from this angle. And from this angle here, you should see what we are doing there. All of the patterns in that should be fairly familiar, so I don't need to cover them in too much detail. The archway on the side here is, as I've said, a copy of that one over there. So you are extending that upwards. Back here, you are building the shortened pavilion and you are doing this with the same pattern and the same exact stairwell design as I've just shown you over there with the doorway and the upside down stairs here along the and the back here the podium for the eagle statue is I believe finished at this phase here we're just putting in some chiseled stone bricks and some upside down stone brick stairs as you see done there. And at this level, we are starting to build out the tops of many multiples of Corinthian columns at the back here in our back porch area. And you are doing that with another block of diorite here and some upside down cobblestone stairs. And let me give you the, the full height of the columns here. That should be six blocks which will serve as a check for you when you have been building these. So you can make sure you've got the height the same. And as you can see, all of these columns are exactly the same design, and you've already cited all of the bases and the column drums. 
So just go around and build up that pattern as you see done there. So over here, we're now uh, able to talk about the main house now that we covered all the satellite buildings. Let's start here at the front. As you can see, we are also putting in the upside down cobblestone stairs along here, just like we did over there for the side buildings. And we're doing that at the front here. Now there is a small change. At, uh, I also forgot to cover that on this. There is a bit of exterior diorite here on these corners and over here as well because these are going to be smaller archways that will go across there and then across there and across there as well. And we're going to be building quite a lot of these archways, but they're all going to be uh, the exact same. I think we should get to probably a full archway um, design by the end of the tutorial. I can probably cover about three phases in the time I have available. So here is the uh, detail for the entranceway. As you can see, we put in a little arch over this, but on top of that, we're putting in some uh, small uh, window tracery by some cobblestone walls on either side of that, as you see done here. And the interior walls of this are just fairly plain. They're just pretty much all stone bricks, although I suppose if you wanted to, these could be layered in with uh, cobblestone and then cobblestone there. That would probably be something that uh, indeed probably should be done. I did not do it on the reference model, but you can uh, change that if you so desire. Here is the full and completed main entrance way for the house. As you can see, we have a triangular pediment here. And behind this is some white diorite to give a nice contrast to the surrounding area there. And we have already looked at the entire lower floors on the previous phases of the tutorial, so we will not go down there again. But as you can see, and let me give you a good top-down view of this entire section of the house, we are now building out the foundations for what is going to be an, a second floor of rooms. And for the most part, I believe these actually follow what we laid out down below, but you're essentially just building that again. And I think you can uh, fairly clearly see what are going to be the block counts here for that, but I will lower, the, lower down and give you a good uh, oblique angle. So, here in the main section, this is the stairwell we've been constructing from the lower floor. And I believe we stopped um, what about uh, here on the last phase. So you are building this up with another step of stairs here. And then we are putting in this floor on top of the ceiling that we constructed down there. And I think you can uh, fairly clearly see what all the block measurements for this are going to be because at this phase you are just putting in the lower parts of the doorways and the uh, right side up spruce tree trunks to serve as baseboards for the rooms that we will be constructing. And there's small detail over here of how the windows are interfacing with these sections over here. And the same design over here as well for that. And uh, some small rooms over here. These were entryways on the lower sections, but now they're just small dedicated rooms. As you see done there. I think that's going to be fairly, fairly simple to do. On the outside here, you can see that our patterns have continued all the way wrapping around from the front of the house. And we are building a bit more of these ascending stairs on either side here. There's a small detail of stone bricks uh, stairs over here with the chiseled stone bricks and the cobblestone walls being used as uh, banisters. As you see done there. Of course, we have a string course of upside down cobblestone stairs that are coming around this entire section right there, wrapping around, as you see done like so. 
All right, so I think that uh, that fairly clearly describes this phase. There is a small detail over here of the base of what is going to be a Roman soldier statue, which you're doing with just full blocks of cobblestone and some cobblestone stairs on top of that and a piece of glowstone here for some hidden lighting to help illuminate it at night. So with all that described, we can well and truly move on to a next phase. So let's begin again here at the entranceway. We are building uh, these two blocks up as you see here. We are finishing the uh, attached column here at the front and we are building out some more Corinthian capitals just like you did all the way along the porch. And we are starting to build the archway which I believe we are going to be building like that there. Like so. Except I set one block back. I remember I'm just using I'm just using the red wool as a sort of a pointer to show things to you. Um let's see. Over here all of the lion statues are now done. We're going to continue skipping over the trees. We will talk now about the pavilions. So as you can see, we are building out an archway here also which is going to be like the one we did over there but it is going to be done here according to uh, these patterns and you're going to be uh, capping off the windows as you see here with a bit of stone brick stairs and the fences as you see done there and all of these window bays are of course the exact same design every time all the way around the pavilion and you want to start constructing those and the arches and everything as you see done here. All right, so let's tuck into the interior and take a look at what we've got going on. Now we're going to have some, as I've said, bigger arches that are coming across here. And these are the lower parts of those arches. And you're building that out with diorite, as you see done here. It's hanging out a block over. And there are also some cobblestone archways, which are going to be going at right angles over here that will be mirroring what we've got around the front with the diorite there. And you want to do all of those the exact same around the room in here. And let us now take a look at the stairwell. So in the last phase, we finished the full height of the window. And over here, you're putting a lintel of spruce on top of that. And you're extending up the red nether brick also. And then you're putting in a baseboard of spruce tree trunks that are all vertical. As you see done here for this face, let me just show it to you from the top down. It might make the most sense. And there are also a, a, a landing here. Or the stairs because when you get to this point as you as you remember we're going to be turning up and going this way which will ascend into the upper level of rooms and let me give you a view from below here it's just I believe uh, full blocks of spruce extended all the way across there but they're just our one beam here in the middle All right, so you are building up, the, of course, the, the side gateway here, exactly the same as the front. And the back pavilion here, I, I believe you have, should have a firm handle on what we are doing with this back here by now. So I don't think I need to remark on that directly. Over here, we are building out the lowest course of the eagle statue. And we're doing that with pretty much uh, cobblestone and diorite. There's a small bit of three blocks of stone bricks down here. But otherwise, the rest of it is cobblestone and diorite. And I'll try and give you a decent look at, at that as we go. But for this eagle, there is a dedicated tutorial, which I have already done in more detail. So if you are having trouble building the statue, uh, please refer to that video. All right, so back here, we are finishing off the column capitals, and you are doing that with upside-down stone brick stairs, as you see 
done here just like you did with the cobblestone stairs at the last phase immediately on top of that put stone brick stairs on every single one of these columns as you see done here and on top of that we are putting in a diorite entablature and the entablature is as you see done here the columns will give you a very clear guide as where to place this especially on that section there and we have a semicircular one that is coming along back here so just pause the video and look at the block pattern and replicate that out it's a very simple count we have a two a one a two and then i believe a five two a one a two and then it goes for some distance and then a gap and then what looks like to be another five and then probably a gap of five and then a five and then a gap of five and then all the way across here to the other end and you can see how this is done all the way around the structure all right let's now talk about the main house let's start at the front corner again as I've said, we are building out more of the archways, just like we did over there, or the side buildings we are doing over here on the main house. You want to build it out according to these patterns here. Here is the finished detail over the door with some more cobblestone walls and some upside down stone brick stairs. As you see done there. And I believe we have a barrel vault in here, which we are beginning to construct with these lower parts of diorite, as you see done here. And they are positioned on either side of the, the window frames, by the way, so that will give you the positions for those. And just build them the same on the other side of the room of there. So let's, uh, let me uh, continue with the exterior and give you a view of this all the way around before we talk about the inside of the house. See the details back here. And the stairs back here, they come to a landing right here, which you fill in with andesite. It's just andesite is just a sort of a darker cobblestone in my texture pack. I know it doesn't look like it, but it's just a five by five square of andesite. It's all andesite down there as well. But at this point, you want to put some chiseled stone bricks here and then some upside down stone brick stairs, as you see done here. And let me show you this from the outside there. And from the other side over here. All right, over here, we are building out the lower parts of the Roman soldier statue. Which, as you might guess, this has its own dedicated tutorial. But I will give you a view of it as we go along, but not in too much detail to save some time. Uh, I believe we can now take a look at the interior of the house. So, this is going to be the uh, second floor main room here. And you are, of course, building this out ag again with the familiar patterns of one block of spruce and then two blocks of wall material. At this level, you can see that we have transitioned from the black stone that we used below. We are now using a red nether brick. Very nice dark and rich color. The doorways are being built ex ex as exactly the same design as we did in the floors beneath. And here's a view of the floors in here. However, some of the windows are now getting truncated because they have reached their full height. So we have some just some small windows in here in these lower floors because they're not the, the main ornate floors of the house. These are sort of the, the floors that uh, the servants and everything would be conducting the real work that uh, makes the house operate. All the uh, kitchens and storage rooms and everything, the workshops would be down here in this section of the house. So let me give you a good view of this along here at the front, along through to the back here. We'll take a look at the stairs in a moment. And we'll turn around and take a look at the other side. Some of the gaps of these walls ended up being a little bit bigger. 
on some sections. Not always possible to keep the one and two pattern. Sometimes you have to uh, bend to uh, what the rules of Minecraft are. Because sometimes we have to round things to just what is the, the nearest block. And let me give you a good top-down view of this entire phase of the house here so you can look at that in detail. All right, let us now take a look at the, the stairs here in some detail. Uh, we finished building the lower part of the floor here last time, so we're focusing on uh, these, these sections here. And it's kind of a jumble of stairs. And well, I mean, really stairs and half slabs and vertical tree trunks and fences, as you see done here. But it, it mostly follows the pattern for the stairs when we were building them down here, by the way. So I think you can see how this comes out. And let me give you a view back here from below as well. Right, I think that uh, that is enough damage to that phase, so we can now move on to this third phase over here. And of course, we will begin again with the gateway. So at this level, we are finishing off our Corinthian capital, just like we did at the back, and putting on an entablature, just like we did at the, the back porch with the diorite there. Except over here, it's going to be uh, four blocks wide and uh, however many blocks it is across there. And we're also finishing off the archway as well, made out of diorite, as you see done here. And of course, it's the same on both sides. All right, let us now talk about the side pavilions. As you can see, we're finishing off a complete archway. Now, with a three-block uh, upper section there. Of course, all the archways are the same. And on top of that, uh, pretty much all the way around, you are going to be putting in a string course of upside-down cobblestone stairs absolutely all the way around the rectangle of the building, as you see done there. Well, it's a fairly, fairly easy outer phase, but the interior is now getting more complicated, so let's take a look at that. So all of these interior archways are done the same way, and they are done according to this pattern here. You're putting in a diorite across here, and a diorite across there as well. And behind that, you're putting in red nether bricks, and back here, we have uh, smaller, subtle archways of cobblestone done according to those patterns there. Now, on the end, we were kind of running out of room, so we had to make smaller arches. We had uh, two blocks less on either side, so we had to make our arch like that instead over here. So that's going to be a little bit different. Of course, it's the same on both sides, as you see done here. So I'll just pan along here, give you a good view of the interior of all these patterns. And of course, the back wall is going straight up as well over there. Now, let me give you a view of the interior here. We are putting in some red nether brick and spruce, pretty much, as you see done according to that pattern there, all the way around the rectangle of the room. And we are building out the stairs, take us to the next level rooms up at the top of there. So, give you a good uh, top-down view of all that. And as I've said, this pavilion back here is just the, the same thing, but shorter. And of course, you're building out uh, one main segment of the archway over here, and then the smaller section over here as well. And the stairwell is the exact same design as over there. All right, let me give you a, a good view of the eagle statue over here. You're doing this with a diorite and cobblestone, of course, built out to these patterns here.
and the entablature or the colonnade of the backyard here. We did this block at the last phase, but now we are building out a bit more of it. Let's start at the at the back here because this is getting kind of complicated. We have what is going to be an archway inside the triangular pediment of the uh, a glass pavilion here. And you're doing that with pretty much uh, diorite and maybe a bit of cobblestone and some stone brick stairs and some slabs according to these patterns there. There's a view from the other side. We're also using a first bit of the blue stained glass back here as well. And I believe all the sections are going to be uh, four, four blocks wide on those. So let me give you sort of a top-down view of this section. And the front section is being built the same as the back. And the side sections are more complicated because at this level we are we're following the curve of the diorite, but you're doing that with the upside down stone brick stairs, as you see done here on the inside arc, and over here as well. For this, we are putting in a set of three arches over here, and we are edging that out with some upside down stone brick stairs along these sections here on the inside. On the outside you are doing the exact same thing. And up here I believe these are cobblestone slabs and full blocks to cap those off there as well and they extend all the way to the stairs there. So you want to build all of those out according to that design here. Let me give you a view of the outside arc from this section over here. And here is the transition when uh, everything sort of collides together over here so it becomes a little bit messy at this section. And on top of that I believe you are just putting in uh, cobblestone slabs. On top of that there, following the arc along there, so here is a view of that from the top down. And along the sides there, and I believe that will cover the back pavilion area for this phase. So let us go to the front of the building again. And at this level, as you can see, just like we did with the pavilion, we are putting in a string course of upside down cobblestone stairs all the way around the building. As you see done here, you're also finishing off the archways just like you did on the pavilions again. You're building out the side gateways here according to the one that we've been building at the front. Here is a view around the back of the building. And here we are now uh, building in a bit more of the stairs. I believe I skipped this block on the last phase. But we are now building out about the three flights of stairs that will be ascending up to the main back porch area. And here's a view of that from the sides here. And this side over here. And of course it is uh, five blocks wide as are the stairs that we started building uh, down there as well. So oh, here is a bit more of the soldier statue. Pretty much just building the, the legs and the cape at this point. Fairly simple to, to do. Um let's start now at the I believe we covered we covered the front, but we we need to go inside under here. So we are building out a small barrel vault on the interior down here and you are constructing that with these arches that you've been building the whole time and set one block back behind those you are now covering over the entire thing with a cobblestone roof on both sides as you see it done along there all right
right, with that done, let us now take a look inside the main rooms. I believe uh, this phase should be fairly simple because you're just extending straight up all of the walls with the spruce and the red nether bricks. All of the doorways, as you can see, are the exact same design, except for the main archway around here. But uh, this doorway is the same one as, as that one. And on the other side, they have this, this same design as well. And I think if I just give you a good top-down view of this entire phase, you can probably more clearly see how to construct all of that. And I think that also in the back here, I think uh, this room might be one block lower than, some, than the other rooms because we have some spruce stairs which are being placed at the top of this room in here, but uh, not in all of the other rooms back here. It's just in this uh, small range of rooms back here, which is going to be directly underneath the back porch of the house. And I can also see I see I made a small mistake back here with the floor, with the, the pattern of that. So you will want to fix that when you are doing this in your constructions. That is, if you are doing the checkerboard pattern, if you have elected to do a, a solid floor, then um, that won't matter. Uh, let us now take a look at these stairs. You are just pretty much extending up, again, the same pattern of stairs that you built down below and up here as well. And those are going up uh, two more blocks here. And fairly shortly, they're going to hit a landing, and then they're going to go up this way. And then we will be building out the main rooms of the house. All right, according to my timer, I think I can fit in a fourth phase in this tutorial, so that's what we're going to do. So we are building out two more blocks of height here on the main trompal entrance way, and you're putting in a band of upside down stone brick stairs all the way around and on top of the diorite. And on top of that, you are putting in more diorite, except you have cobblestone here at these four corners to frame that out. Very simple to do. I think at this phase here, we are actually finished with, uh, with the tree design. So we can see a full one of those, and they're of course continuing to corkscrew around. And I think you should have a decent handle on those by now. Over here, let's now talk about the pavilions, because as you can see, we have uh, roofed over the ceiling on those there. And all around the exterior, it's very simple. All you're doing is putting on top of the upside down cobblestone stairs, you're putting in an upside down band of stone brick stairs and then straight cobblestone on top of that. And you're doing that, of course, all the way around the exterior of the building. Very, very simple to do. But let us uh, go inside here. And it's a little dark, so let's have a potion. And take a look at the ceiling. Now, as you can see here, yeah, I think you can fairly clearly make out the pattern of the high contrast diorite against the red nether bricks. And you can see, remember, we have uh, this one smaller on this end back there but these three sections down below here are all the same. And of course, what you are doing is constructing a rib vault in here. That is what these bands of white diorite in here are called, making this sort of X shape. And since this is a barrel vault and we have ribs up at the top in between here, these are called rib vaulting. And to do these, they're fairly simple to do once you get the hang of it. Once you have a square or rectangular area, all you do is draw a sort of an X shape that is a best fit shape and but when you're doing this you keep the curve for the most part of the main arches that you did so the arches will serve as a guide to help you construct the ribs in between them like so I think that that is fairly straightforward for you to be able to do 
Let's take a look at the stairwell again. So we are putting a roof on the stairwell, finally. And we, you are doing that by extending up, I believe, uh, this block here. And then on top of that, you are putting in some beams of spruce and spruce slabs in between those for coffers, four of those. And on the sides here, there's a bit more spruce over here. And you want to make the stairs, as you see, done there. So here's a top-down view of that section. And a top-down view of the entire pavilion, as you see, done here. And as I've remarked many times, so this side gateway, you're building that out according to the front pattern. And the back building, you know how to do this by now as well. So here is a bit more of the eagle statue. It's just sort of a, a best fit shape made with cobblestone and diorite. We have cobblestone for the talons and for the edges of the wing and also for the beak down here as well. We have cobblestone for that, but the body of the eagle itself is made up of the white diorite, as you see done here. And of course, it's uh, festooned with torches to keep everything lit up as well. All right, on the back over here, we are building out a bit more of the back pavilion. We are finishing off the archway here. And as you can see, you are arcing up and over the upside down stairs on the back here with the slabs, as you see done here, just in a straight uh, 45 degree angle going up like that. And they are faced with cobblestone behind them, as you see done there. I think I should give you a view from the, the lower part of the interior here. And of course, we have some cross members of uh, cobblestone that are going across here. And these are made both of full blocks and of half slabs. And there is just straight light blue stained glass going in across there in sort of a two block increments. Of course, the front of this is made the same as the back. So let me give you a good uh, top down view of the back pavilion and you want to build that out according to this pattern here and also let me give you a, a good view of the sides here as well I believe at this point you, you want to put in uh, full blocks and uh, half slabs up here on these sides and I believe uh, this part we finished on the last phase so all we need to take a look at over here is uh, this upper ring of this archway. Of course, you're building three of those. And you're doing according to this pattern here with just some full blocks. And I believe we're going to have some half slabs up here on the next phase as well. So let us now focus on the house for the remaining part of this tutorial. As you can see, you are putting in the upside down stone bricks and the full blocks, just like you did with the pavilion over here. It's just a smaller version of the main house in a lot of ways. And you want to do that absolutely all the way around the house. And you want to have that to sort of uh, collide and overwrite the uh, side gateway over here as well. Because as you can see, uh, this part will sort of collide with the house, but you should chop that off in favor of doing it uh, rigidly along that way and have sort of be uh, have the house overwrite the gateway. So here's a view along the back as you can see you're extending up the stairs again according to the same patterns as you've been building them and then uh, straight across the back of the house here here is a view of this section of the soldier statue it's just a uh, black stone and upside down stairs, red nether brick, sort of all jumbled together to make a reasonable uh, um, model of a soldier statue. And back here, we are putting in the back porch as well with this, this darker cobblestone, which in my texture pack is andesite. As you can see here, there's a ring of andesite 
that goes along the front and the back and along the sides of the house. And I think this is, uh, I hope this is high contrast enough for you to see against the cobblestone. You can also detect that we are roofing off while putting the ceiling on the lower floors. And we will shortly in the next phase be putting on the main floors of the main rooms of the house. And I suppose in this tutorial, we are really finishing off the lower course of the house itself. So everything will be getting a bit more uh, ornate as we go up in height. So let us go over here and take a look at this section. We, as you can see, you finished off the diorite arches, but on top of that, you put some cobblestone. And on top of that, again, you should be putting on the uh, just a sheet of diorite on top of that. And I didn't talk about the upper sections of this uh, pavilion, did I? As you can see, also, we are doing a two-block band, bandesite, all the way around the exterior as well, in addition to finishing off the, the ceilings over there. So you want to make those be the same. And I think I should land and we need to take a look at all of the finished rooms. So for these, I believe we are now putting in some crown molding and we are doing that with upside down spruce stairs all the way around the edges of all the rooms, as you see done here. And on top of those, you are putting in, it's sort of, it's very subtle, we are putting in a line of spruce tree trunks on top of those which we attach our beams to so we can make our coffered pattern to give our roof here and here are those in there as well of course these the side rooms over here are all being done in exactly the same way and you already know how these are constructed from building the lower section so I think if I just show this to you from the upper sections as opposed to actually going inside the rooms you can see how they will all be laid out at this level and I believe the last detail to cover here is we have the landing for the stairs 2 by 3 landing again and we have small stairs over here we're gonna have I think uh, two more stairs here and on top of this, we will be putting in our checkerboard pattern of obsidian and bedrock, unless you're building it in survival, in which case you will want to use basalt and polished blackstone. So let me give you a good uh, top-down view of this entire last phase here. I've neglected to do that on the last several phases. But I think in the next video, we will be finishing off the front gateways and then after after we do that I think in probably the next phase we will also finish off the pavilion over there as well and um, maybe a bit more of the eagle statue uh, at which point we will only be focusing on the side pavilions here and then the main house and then ultimately only the main house so there will be at least one more tutorial video perhaps a, an additional one after that and then i think that we will be pretty much finished so i hope you are enjoying the roman estate tutorial as i've said it's it's really a mega base so it's taking several episodes to properly describe but i'm going to get them all finished and out before the end of the year so you can have something to work on over the holidays so thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.